As we told you earlier on the program, the boll weevil has been eradicated from Louisiana. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Malasson. And Neil, I know any cotton grower will tell you that the boll weevil has cost them millions of dollars. What has this pest cost Louisiana over the years? Well, Mike, since it was first introduced in the United States from Mexico in the early 1900s, the boll weevil has done $15 billion worth of damage in yield losses and the ensuing control efforts. The pest was so voracious, it inspired the University of Arkansas at Monticello to name their mascot after this destructive pest. That's why in the mid-1990s, the boll weevil eradication program in Louisiana was somewhat controversial. It was to be partially funded by the growers and had only been effective in a couple of states at that time. The expenditures on the program were on top of the already high cost for the pesticides the growers would continue to have to spray during the eradication. In the long run, though, the program has more than paid for itself. The USDA estimates the benefits of the program outweigh the cost 12 times over. For one, the cost and amounts of pesticides sprayed has been greatly reduced. This will help also control the weevil in the future because it allows for the insects that naturally predate on the weevil to thrive. Another Another thing is the research and methods used in the eradication efforts will be used to control other infestations such as the sea lampreys in the Great Lakes. The bottom line is we're saving $300 million annually in costs to producers and consumers alike, not to mention all the unaccounted for costs to our productivity and to our environment. By the way, Mike, there's even a link to the peanut story earlier. A town in Georgia has a statue in the boll weevil's honor because it spurred the growth of peanut acres in that state, so it's kind of of ironic that we've eliminated the boll weevil only to see some of our cotton acres going back to peanuts. And Neil, uh, certainly I know a lot of Louisiana cotton growers are finally glad that they are rid of that pest. And by the way, former Twyler producer David Langley was a graduate of the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Neil Blanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network for a list of stations where you can listen or tune in online. You can visit our website at twylatv.org and look for the link LFB Radio Network on the left side of the home page. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Be sure to join us next week when A.J. Sabine shows us how Louisiana crawfish farmers are faring so far this Lenten season. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online. Go on over to our website, twilight.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.